kind of wanted to show you how to repair uh, a leaking toilet, periodically leaking. Water comes on, then turns off just mysteriously in the middle of the night for little or no cost. Now I'm going to demonstrate this on my Kohler toilet. I have a 1.6 gallon flush Kohler toilet that has really been as reliable as any toilet I've ever had. So this is not the toilet that has a problem, I'm just using it for demonstration. So if you suspect your toilet is leaking at the flapper valve, the first thing you need to do is, is put some food coloring in the tank itself. Then wait several hours or several days after several of the repeat leaks have come on. And if you see the food coloring in the tank, you know you've got a leak. And basically, here's what's going on in the tank. Bowl, ...which causes the, the valve level to drop and the thing to start over again. So here's, here's an example of, of what might happen. You get, you get a small leak in the tank in that flapper valve that causes water to flow into the tank which lowers this flow level which causes the thing to come back on and, re and refill up and that'll, that'll occur over and over again as long as that flapper valve is leaking. Okay so everything appears to be fairly good. The there are several parts available to fix these things. You can replace the flapper valves they are available at the home center. You can even get flapper valves that will increase the capacity of the toilet from 1.6 to maximum. You can get the fluid master valve by itself or the fluid master valve with a flapper kit. Or you can get the fluid master valve with a complete flapper kit that includes the seat. I don't really recommend this. I don't like to ra use, replace the seat because it raises the water level. What you really need for this procedure is some Scotch-Brite no-scratch steel wool or uh, polishing pads. So the first thing you need to do is take the lid off the toilet and place this lid flat on the floor. Flat on the floor in the bathroom out of the way. Do not lean the lid up against the wall. If you lean it up against the wall, it's going to fall and break on you and then you're going to be out a major, major amount of money. Okay, locate where the water comes into the toilet. It will usually come into the bottom of the fill valve in the toilet and then look down into the tank and here's what the tank looks like full. You see the fluid master valve in this particular toilet and the flapper valve in the center of the toilet with the 1.6 gallon styrofoam thing. Here, check the water line. Make sure that the water line before you start the procedure is at the marked water line on the tube. Okay, let's close off the water valve. Typically turn in the water valve clockwise. Closes it off counterclockwise opens it. So turn it all the way clockwise. And then flush the toilet and hold the lever down so that all of the water, or as much water as possible, drains out of the tank into the bowl. And then sop up the rest of the water in the bowl so the bowl is pretty empty. Now this is input water, it's not toilet water, so it's the same water that you drink or wash your hands in, so don't worry about it. Okay, the next thing you need to do is remove this, the flapper valve. Now mine snapped right out of there, so I just took the flapper valve, snapped it off, you know, no tools are needed, and I put, placed it outside of the toilet. So the valve is off the seat, hanging outside the toilet, and then I took a close look at the valve. Notice that this valve has some colloquy mocus on it, some brown stuff, that could be causing leaks. The, the seat could also have the same kind of stuff on it that could be causing leaks. And here's a photo of the seat. I didn't see anything, but basically, you know, the corrosion and the minerals that the, that the water produce usually stick to this thing. So, take your steel wool pad and clean off the valve itself. Very gently clean around all the area that goes on the valve. Now, in this case, the green area is the valve. Then next, clean off the seat, the top of the seat that, rest, that the valve rests upon with your, with your Scotch-Brite pad. Once that done, it's done, all you'll need to do is replace the flapper valve, put it in the toilet, and make sure that the chain and everything is loose and free to operate. Then go back to your water valve, counterclockwise turn the water valve on all the way, watching for leaks. There should be no leaks because we've not changed anything. Then, then watch the toilet fill up. Make sure that, that it fills up all the way to the water line and that the water shuts off when the float valve gets to the maximum water line. Here's a, here's a short video of, of doing that exact same thing, just to duplicate it. I'm going to turn the water off at the spigot, the main spigot that comes into the toilet. 
And then I'm going to flush the toilet and get all the water out of the toilet bowl so that I can work on this flapper valve right here. That's the valve that generally leaks. Okay, my valve snaps on. I'm going to just snap it right off. Very simply. Now, don't don't be too rough with it because you don't want to break those those little levers that hold it on. Oh, it used to snap right off. Okay, there it snaps right off. See, this is the rubber seal on the flapper, and this is the seal on the main tank. And those are the two seals we're going to be dealing with in this explanation. Set the flapper valve aside outside the toilet like that. Okay, what I'm going to do is use my Scotch-Brite no-scratch pads to clean both the, this rubber on the bottom of the flapper valve and the top of the flapper valve itself. Now, if you can get a photo of this, I'll, I'll, I'll clean this off. Now the toilet's empty of water as I've turned it off at the main and then I'm going to clean around the rubber gasket seal on this flapper valve with my Scotch-Brite pad. Once that's done and you've got all the colloquy mocus off of it, you simply put the flapper valve back in and mine snaps on very easily like that. Make sure that it goes up and down. Make sure all this stuff is free as well. That the flapper valve it is is free to, to move uh, as needed and then I'll go back down to my valve my walk main water valve and I'm going to turn the water on and you can watch the toilet so counterclockwise turns the water on and the toilet will fill up now this is a fluid master valve this valve is 10 years old the seat is 10 years old and I've had hardly any problem with this toilet and typically these valves will last forever unless they get dirt or something in them, in which case you've got a problem outside the valve. But the Fluid Master valves are very simple to replace, but I don't really think you need to spend the money to replace it because they last, they last almost forever. Now again, this is a Kohler toilet. It's the, it's the best toilet I, I've really ever had. It, it, it hardly ever clogs up. Now another issue with these Kohler toilets is they're 1.6 gallon flush as are all new toilets and what I've done is I've changed the 1.6 gallon flush to try to flush the entire tank in the toilet so that I get as much of the tank as I can down the drain because the 1.6 is just simply not enough water to completely flush the toilet and the toilet has gotten clogged several times and we've had to plunge it out with a plunger since I've increased this we haven't had that problem increase the, the amount of water flowing down to there. Okay, the, 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 the toilet's filling up and you can, you'll, you'll see the fluid master come up to the top and, and stop the water at, at the water line so everything is is pretty good and, we sh and with our clean valve down there we shouldn't see any more leaks through, through the toilet from the toilet into the actual toilet Okay, now the last thing to do is to put the lid on, but before you put the lid on, make sure that the water shuts off at the water level. Make sure there's no leaks around the toilet or anything like that. Now again, this is a Kohler toilet. If you're going to replace your toilet, any of your toilets in your house, buy yourself a Kohler. Uh, verify that there are no leaks and you should not be troubled with the, the flapper valve leaking into the toilet ever again. That's it.